tutorial 3 rule based menu in MVC. So previously what we have done was we have this message uh, we have this login information uh, login uh, page here so there could be some error and if there is some error then we could see some error and then if there is correct information a correct username and password then it would take us to the it would then we would be re redirected to a new dashboard page so here is my dashboard here are some links and there is a, an image here uh birthplace of lord buddha in lumini it's in a pot so i got this image from somewhere online the point is i have this menu here and then when you click on the menu then you go to the corresponding page so if you click on this another page you will be redirected to another page uh, ideally you could have this uh, in this menu in all the pages and you can use that as a must page and then other as a partial page but uh, but the point but that i'll be doing in the later videos for now i just want to show you the role based uh, menu here you can see the difference like i have this admin admin and then i logged in and then i can see report financial details employee and attendance there are four there are four um, menus but if i go and logged in as user now i can only see employee and attendance so this is kind of a menu uh, role based menu means only some only the user can see specific menus now what i'm going to show you before starting my code before showing my code is like we have to follow these three steps first we have to update the edmx file because now those menus are coming from the database that is why you have to add one extra table and then if there is the successful login then you have to return a menu model to the dashboard view uh, based on the login user it means like the user who is logged in only can see specific menus and that will be coming to the view and then once there is a menu then if you click on certain links then you should be redirected to some other pages specific pages so these are the three things we need to do so first let's go to the point one updating the edmx so i'm going to stop this one here and so you the solution explorer here we already have this edmx so i'm double clicking it in my in my solution i can already see this thing but for you what you need to do is you need to right click you will not have this tbl menu so i'll show you the design of the tbl menu table so it has menu id name description and access to so here is an example so there is a a menu with the name employee info and its description you can put whatever you want and it is access to one one means it is for the user and two means it is for the admin because in the login table you can see here is that one is user and two is uh, admin so employee info is access to one report is access to two financial detail is access to two attendance is for one Employee, employee info is for two and attendance for three uh, for two so these are my uh, specific rules you can make other specific rules for your own specific case but here is just what i'm i'm just showing here here uh, what you can do so so these are already in, uh, entered in the database so table so i'm just going to go here and right click to update the model from the database so once you do this then if you expand this table you can see the tbl menu but since i have already here so i have nothing to update so i'm going to close this but for any for your case you can update and save so in that way you can have the tbl uh, menu and if you go and expand your employee data model dot context cs then you can see here there will be a tbl menu added here like this so this db set person is like for some other Thing that i was doing so you don't need to worry about this one but you can al already see tbl login in your code also so so that concludes our point one so you have updated your edmx now you need to return the menu model based on the logged in user so what you need to do here is you already have this user which upon successful user will not be empty and if it is not null 
so what you need to do is you need to write this link query which gets the menu based on the user users access to value uh, access to value should match the user id so here what i'm what i did was i got all the list menu values uh, from the tbl menu where access id access to is equivalent to the logged in users id because they should match and then that is how i had implemented my rule so access to is like the id so this will give me if it is a if the user is just a user he will get two values but if he is admin he will get four values and that will be and then i also removed my another action result with the uh, dashboard action result and i and i just need to add here because this will be present inside the login con login uh, folder in the view so now what we, uh, you can see is in the view page of the dashboard so here you can see i have implemented this enumerable because we will be returning a list from the t from the login controller so this is a list that is why we need here a list so model enumerable employee portal dot tbl menu so so what i did here was this was already here like a welcome to dashboard and inside this i created a table and here i have like a two tr and then inside the tr we have now another table also so this is for the menu so if my model is not null which obviously will not be if it is a successful then or the model can know if there is a user which do not have any other any other um, menu available so uh, in this in that case if the model is not known then I'm going to look through each of the item so the item can contains the name and the description and name and description and access to for now only name is uh, required so what I did here was I put a link hyperlink uh, in the razor tag you can achieve this using the at the red html action link and item that name and this is for what I'm going to say and this is where I will be redirecting so item dot name dot replace what why I did this was because I was getting the unnecessary percentage 20 so that was because of the uh, blank space so I removed that like a trim by removing the trim so now I can hover on the link and then the other TD also the other TD has like a, a table inside which contains two TR one for the image and one for the label that shows the label for the image now I'm going to run this and I'm going to run this and show you the links in actual like First I need to go here and then do login slash login. So this is my page. Now I'm going to do admin admin in the login. So here I'm going to see four login uh, yes, four menus. So if I right click on the report and then see the the href value here I can say login slash report. It means I can now click on the login slash report and in the login controller there can be a action result which can which will return a view corresponding to this so login slash report as you can see in the bottom also there you can see login slash financial details login slash simply info and attendance so i have already implemented those in the login controller so i have those specific action details and for each of them I have their own specific views already added and the image that you are seeing here was was from this resource folder I just added it here and then in the in the view you can see I have set height width and there is a source it is from the from the folder called the resources and in the login you can see those views which are uh, which I, uh, I just uh, added from here add view and then upon add upon the successful addition those added inside this login login uh, folder inside the view so this is how i i uh, tried to implement the uh, role based or a uh, role based or access based uh, access based uh, menu uh, for the mvc so let me know about how you feel about this video if you have any comments please do subscribe 
comment like dislike in my in my video and i'll be making uh, another video pretty soon uh, thank you